We are inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the place that Jesus was crucified, died, and buried before Easter time. This day, Easter, we have less tourists. We actually have no tourists uh, because of coronavirus. That's the area of the tomb. After he was, after he died, they purified his body on that stone, the anointing stone. And before that, he was crucified. And that's what we are doing now. We're climbing up to the crucifixion place, just before Easter. I know that you cannot go, you cannot be in the, uh, in Israel now, in Jerusalem. And uh, that video is for you. Then send it to everyone that believes in Jesus. The plaza of the crucifixion is divided into two. This is the Catholic part. And the other side is the Greek Orthodox part. Why? Mainly because so many people believe that that church belongs to them. This is one of the few churches in the world that belongs almost to everyone. Uh, then, the most important things here is the chapel. That's where they strip him from his clothes. And here, they nail Jesus. The Medici family donated that altar, which I think is the most expensive place or site here, table, altar. And you can see here, then into the cross, Mary Magdalene anointing the body of Jesus while Mary the mother is looking at him. The crucifixion place is there, we will reach it soon, but here in the Catholic place, you can see Mary, Mary Magdalene, and the other two Marys, together with uh, St. John, watching the crucifixion. The beautiful mosaic is new. The church was burned down in 1808, but the only part of the mosaic that left from the crusader time is of Jesus. But let me turn around. Here it is. Jesus is the ruler of the world. 12th century mosaic. That altar is still in the Catholic path. And that's all about Mary watching her son die, suffer on the cross. When she was at the temple, St. Simon told her that her son will die in front of her eyes. It will be like a spear will enter to your heart. And that's what's happening now. Um, the foreign workers who actually visit the, uh, the chapel now left her some beautiful flowers dedicated to Mary. But again, the most important part in that church is the crucifixion place that belongs to the Greek Orthodox. Here, you can see on top of the cross, four letters in three languages, Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. And that's the sin list of Jesus. Jesus from Nazareth, King of the Jews. The Romans already crowned someone else as a king. That's King Herod that he deserved to die. You can see here the Calvary, the Golgotha, here and on the other side. And if you are standing now in front of it, John is to the right, Jesus is of course in the middle, and Mary is to the left. When Jesus actually uh, was on the cross. He asked to John, he asked John to take care of his mother. Now look at the painting here, the wall painting. 
it's totally different than the mosaics of the Catholic. But both of them are telling us the story of Jesus in Jerusalem. Let me show you how it actually, what we can see from the Calvary itself, from the Golgotha. The entrance to the church is right here. Let's continue right. Remember the stone of the anointing? Here it is. And the tomb is right there. That part belongs to the Greek Orthodox. And the other part, which is above us now, belongs to the Armenian. Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Easter 2021. Please share that video with everyone that you know. I hope that next Easter will be much better to everyone in the world.